Some brands offer you low finance, or cashback, or servicing. Renault don't do ors. We do ands. The Renault Kajar, with 1.91% APR and €1,000 cashback and three years servicing, saving you thousands. Renault, the brand with the ands. Visit your local Renault dealer. Finance is made under a higher purchase agreement. Terms and conditions apply. Deposit required. Subject to lending criteria. See Renault.ie. This is Jen Lilly, and you're listening to Pam and Don. Hello, and welcome to the special edition of Christmas Movie Spotlight. I'm your host, Don Mack, and I'm here with my friend, trusty sidekick, colleague, co-host, whatever you want to call her. It is my wonderful friend, Pam. How are you, Pam? Well, you know, I wish everybody would introduce me like that. (laughs) (laughs) Hey, look, and just say. You get introductions that way. I'm opening the show. I don't get introduced. I just introduce myself. <laughs> but, uh, but, yeah. so I hope you're doing well, and um, I'm glad to be here with you air today. Well, thank you. I'm very happy to be with you, as always. And Dawn is my friend, trusty sidekick, and co-host in real life. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> She pulls stuff out of the hat all the time, folks, and I never see it coming. Um, Well, today we welcome the lovely and incredibly talented Jen Lilly to our show. And Pam and I are so excited to to bring this interview to you. Jen, as you know, she is she's just a superstar in the world of acting. Um, you know, if you've followed her on Days of Our Lives and now on Hallmark and, and all of the other places in between and her music, she is just a phenomenal person. And what you see on screen, she is very much like that in real life she's very lively she's bubbly she's just a joy to talk to as you'll see here very shortly and um so pam and i've been very excited about this interview and couldn't wait till it was time to air it actually i'm telling you it was a blast speaking with her she makes you feel like you're talking to a friend instead of an actor or an actress on the phone and just doing an interview. It's more like having a chat with her instead of an interview. Absolutely. Um, absolutely adore her. Um, well, don't forget to watch Jen in her upcoming movie on Hallmark, Mingle All the Way, and it premieres on Saturday, December 1st at 8 p.m. Eastern, Seven Central. And now we are so excited and honored to bring you our special interview with Jen Lilly. Enjoy our chat. So again, thank you so much for calling in. We really appreciate it. Um, you know, Jen, I've spoken to you a few times on my other radio show, but I'm not sure I've ever asked you this question. Who or what inspired you to become an actress? Oh, that's a great question. Um, well, you know, I think I always had an interest in acting as a kid, but maybe, but I don't think it was any more than any other kid who just wants to be on the Disney Channel. Um, and so then when I was in college, I saw these posters for this open a call auditions for a little movie called The Loss of Life. And they were everywhere all over campus. And I guess the more I saw them, the more they annoyed me. And I kind of dared myself to audition for it because they prompted me to keep asking myself, like, I wonder if I could do that. And so I went home and I um, used a video camera that an ex-boyfriend had given me. (laughs) And I kept recording myself and watching it and then recording it back and and watching it, trying to teach myself how to act. And once I finally felt like it got to a place of believability, I went in and I auditioned for it. And then, um, they ended up shutting the auditions down and I booked the female lead. And then I was like, "Uh Oh, what have I gotten myself into? And um, I got on set and I was like, Oh, I really like people like film crews and um, I don't know, like film actors and everyone involved in film is very normal and down to earth. I find. And I like that. Like I like people that are relatable. Um, 
I'm not really a dramatic person. So, so yeah, so I decided that maybe I would pursue it, but I ended up studying in college. I just kept, you know, pursuing a degree. And then uh, I would take acting classes outside of University of Virginia at night. Wonderful director who had moved from LA uh, and he was teaching acting classes in Virginia. So I was taking them outside of my university classes, uh, you know, with, I think without telling my parents probably. And then I got my degree and decided to pursue acting. So that's how I got started. Wow. And it's funny that you say that you're not a dramatic person yet. Some of the roles that you have played, <laughs> oh my gosh. Very dramatic. Yes, very dramatic. Yeah. They, they, I guess they like let out whatever pent up rage or whatever I'm feeling. <laughs> that way you can be nice and calm for your real life so there you go yeah <laughs> I think maybe there's a lot of us that need to take some uh, acting classes then <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> Well, congratulations on the huge success of your song, King of Hearts. I mean, you've gotten tons of radio play, and the fans absolutely love it, including Dawn and I. So, uh, what in- you're welcome. What inspired the, you know, 60s, 70s style and the song? I mean, I absolutely adore that you did that. Thank you. Um, you know, I cannot take credit for the 1960s feel of it. That would be all thanks to my amazing and legendary music producer, Adrian Gervitz. Um, when I, I've always loved Motown and I grew up listening to Motown and the Ronettes mm-hmm. and the Supremes and Diana Ross and, you know, uh, Aretha Franklin, all the greats. But, but when Adrian and I started working together, we would be around his uh, piano, just kind of writing and trying to figure out like, what direction do we go? Cause I really have an eclectic musical taste and, um, it was him because one day at the piano, he just stopped in the middle of playing and he goes, Oh my God, do you know who you sound like? And I was like, no, <laughs> he goes, you sound like Dusty Springfield and that's his favorite mm-hmm. singer. And so it was a huge compliment. And so that's why we ended up going kind of the sixties route. But of course it made sense because it made sense on a lot of levels. Um, you know, I think sixties music is real and it's not fabricated and um, right. I appreciate live sessions. I don't like, uh, I don't like computer generated music. You know, I think why would you let robots do something that is an expression of the human soul and artistry? And so uh, it was kind of a natural progression to do 60s music. I also think that there's a lot of parallels between current day and the 60s, just as far as uh, political, racial and economic tension going on in the world. And so I think that Motown and the 60s music was so popular because it did provide such a positive escape for people. And so that just seemed to be a natural fit for, for what I want my music to represent, to be very empowering and uplifting for people. Well, it is a great song indeed. And, um, in fact, I told one of my radio friends who, who does a lot of beach and oldies, he's a radio DJ, and I told him about your song, and I said, you've got to listen to the song. I said, it has that whole vibe. I could see the whole shagging crowd on the coast of North Carolina, South Carolina, down there dancing to the song. I said, check it out. So um, it's, it's a great you. song, Jane. You did an awesome job on it. Um, well, we're going to shift gears a little bit, and we are are looking forward to seeing you in the upcoming holiday movie mingle all the way which premieres on hallmark channel on december 1st and what can you share with us about your character and the movie without giving too much away okay um my character is molly hoffman and she is a very a type um young entrepreneur who develops an app called Mingle All the Way for busy entrepreneurs who get invited to holiday parties. And, you know, we all get invited to holiday parties and then they say, bring a date. And she hates that. And so she just wants to, she was like, I'm going to create an app where you can find a date that you get along with, but there's no romance involved. And so that is the basis of the movie. Then of course, at the very beginning, you know, she has an investor that really wants the app to be able to prove successful romantically as well. And of course, Molly's like, well, that's not what the app is created for. And then her assistant, Tyler, signs her up to as a social experiment. And that is that is the premise for the movie. And it's, you know, romance and wackiness ensues. <laughs> Uh, well, in just what we've seen so far, Pam and I, it looks like it's going to be a great movie. Of course, there everything you're in is great anyway. So this this is going to be fun. It's going to be a really fun movie. It looks like. Um, 
Well, and also, this is going to be your second time working with the legendary Lindsay Wagner in a Hallmark film. And what yes. was it like to what was it like to work with her? And what did you find most inspiring about her? This is a great question. Um, well, it was wonderful to work with Lindsay, and it was it was particularly wonderful to work with her a second time because this time around, she played my mother, and um, Molly and her mother have a pretty strained relationship and I think that you really can't have a strained relationship with someone unless you really deeply care about their opinion and Mm -hmm. um, so it was nice that we'd already worked together so that we had kind of a rich history to build off of and so we we were able to go really deep as far as chemistry wise goes quickly because we didn't have to establish a, a you know getting to know you rapport and then what I learned that was just most profoundly impacting for me about Lindsay is somehow last time we worked together we had not known that each of us were such huge advocates against child abuse in the United States. So she's also on the board of an organization called ICANN, and she's been making massive strides with legislation against child abuse for decades now. So learning that about her and, and um, chatting about that with her was, you know, very exciting and, and evoked a lot of long conversations. So she's amazing. Oh, wow. And, and you know, isn't it interesting how you two were brought together for the Hallmark movies, of course, but out of that, you've discovered this new thing, which is going to continue to help you both remain connected for a completely different reason, um, which yes. I think is just so awesome. Um, well, before we wrap up, we have got a fun little thing we want to do with you, which, which we love. This is one of our favorite parts of our show. And it's a five question lightning round. It's all Christmas related. And you <laughs> okay. just fire off the first thing that comes to mind. Um, okay. So <laughs> the first, and you know, there are no wrong answers by the way. So we're good. Yeah. Okay. Well, you wait, you wait till I answer. Maybe, maybe you'll change your mind about that. Here we go. (laughs) Well, Well, okay. Well, the first question is your favorite Christmas tradition. Um, Making cookies with my parents. Oh, yeah. That's awesome. All right. Your favorite Christmas song. Oh, gosh. (laughs) Um, Baby, it's cold outside. What did you say? Baby, it's cold outside. Oh, that's by Jen Lilly and Eric Martzoff. <laughs> I was gonna say, I know, I know. So Jen Lilly did that song, you know, and she was so good. Right. My first one. Eric. What yeah. a great, you know. <laughs> um, I love that. Great answer. Okay, um, your favorite Christmas movie? Mingo All the Way. I bet, right? <laughs> yeah, Mingo All the Way. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we'll say Mingo All the Way. <laughs> <laughs> and I know it's gonna be one of mine and Pam's too, by the way. So, okay. I hope so. Uh, hot toddy or hot chocolate? Oh, hot chocolate. And last but not least, white lights or colored lights? White. White. I have way too much OCD for colored lights. Yeah. <laughs> no, white lights all the way. Yeah. God, you sound like me. I'm the same way. I can't. It's like, <laughs> ah. Yeah. Well, yeah. Well, and that completes our five-question lightning round, and I think you win Great. the prize for completing it the quickest of anyone we've ever played this game with, so thank you so much. Really? It was, yes! This yeah. is so cool. You guys are good liars. That's good. <laughs> no, no, seriously. Seriously. I am telling you, we don't ever set a time limit, but, you know, just they kind of really think about it, and then they, you know, they might give an answer, but then they might change their mind. So you but played the lightning, lightning round. round. You played it the way it's supposed to be played, but hey, it's, it's there's good. Fun. It's just all fun. That's just that's really what we just call it. But it can be whatever you know you want it to be. But thank you so much. That was fun. And um, yeah, thank you both. And and thank you for sharing some of your time with us today. We know you're incredibly busy, so we really appreciate you chatting with us about your new song and and everything going on with you. We're always um, glad to speak with you and. And follow and do, you know, whatever you're doing, we're happy to follow and support you in it. Thank you so much. That's so sweet. Oh, you're welcome. Yes. Thank thank you, Jen. And um, happy Thanksgiving to you and your family. (laughs) You too. All right. Talk to you guys soon. Take care. Thank you. Bye. Bye -bye. Bye-bye. Hey, guys, don't leave us yet. Be sure to follow us on Twitter at Christmas Movies. That's X M A S M U V I E S. And also like our Facebook page at Christmas Movie Spotlight. Don't forget that's spelled M U V I E S. And follow us on Instagram at Christmas Movie Spotlight. 
And don't forget to check out our website, ChristmasMovieSpotlight.com. That's movies with M-U-V-I-E-S, ChristmasMovieSpotlight.com. Thanks for listening. See you next week.